these are the lower link mounts on the frame. They tend to be weak, so today we're going to get them reinforced. I'm here at uh, GMG Fabrication. They're going to put on some Trailworks skids. Yeah, I keep playing with the idea of getting some welding equipment, but I learned that it's it's not just a welder, it's a whole lot of other stuff too. Yeah. Because I don't know that I really have time to learn it all anyway. <laughs> I learned over the period of a few years. There are all these unforeseen things that uh, you figure a, a fab company would take care of that, but. So, if you ever have to take your arms off or anything, yeah. you're going to have to take them off at the back end right? and and then slide them out the front because the, the piece on the bottom here. I'm mind boggled by Toyota's decision to make plastic gas tank skid plates. And there we are. Trail works lower link skids installed. If you're in the Phoenix area, give Joe here a call. He does a good job. Here's the first welding job I had done on this truck. Body mount chop. This thing usually sticks out over to here and with oversized tires, it rubs up against it. So I wanted to put bigger tires on it. These are 33s, 32 stock. And I wasn't ready for a lift, but I wanted to fit the bigger tires. So I had the body mount chop done. That allows me to run the bigger tires without it rubbing on the body mount. Of course, there are some tires that you can get that will fit without chopping it, especially if you don't do any real hardcore off-roading, don't have a lot of you know hardcore articulation going on. This will allow me to run bigger tires without as much lift or without any lift. And when I do get a lift, I'll be able to I put 34s, maybe even 35s on there without going much more than a 3 inch lift. 34s is probably about as big as I'll go though. These wheels here, I actually won these at a raffle a few years ago at an event called Off Camber. Fun event. Maybe someday they'll do it again. <laughs> 